Hey, how's it guys? Um, if you guys don't know, my name is uh, Kavika and uh, this is my YouTube uh, channel. And I wanted to share something. I know usually my channel is, is uh, has like, you know, what we do at our homeless ministry in Chinatown. Uh, I, um, I load my sermons and um, the worship there. And I do some stuff, so aquaponics. So if you guys like aquaponics, I get clips here and there. Um, but I just I wanted to kind of I guess share something on the side about um, what what I've been going through for a couple of years, but it's been kind of getting worse. It has to do with my eyesight, and that's why that's why you see me with um, uh, these safety glasses on that was issued to me from my doctor. Uh, for the past couple, I, maybe like, I don't know, 17 years ago, I had LASIK eye surgery and it, it, it did, it was good and for the first couple years, I could see really good, 2020, but as the years went went by, I my vision got worse and worse and um, it came to the point where I had to get these, the gas, the rigid gas uh, contact lens because soft con soft lens wasn't strong enough for my eyes. And um, the glasses I had was issued as super thick, almost like, oh man, I don't know, maybe like half inch thick almost, uh, about half inch thick. And I still couldn't see 2020. So I was pretty much uh, legally uh, blind and I got, um, they found out I had something called keratoconus. Um, I, I don't know exactly how to say it, but it's an eye disease. Uh, it's basically it's where your eye, like on top of your, your eye has a, a lens, yeah, kind of, it compared to like a camera where the cornea is the lens of the um, the eye and that was distorted and it was instead of a nice dome people with that disease it's um, it's like a it's like a oval, it's like a football shape where it, it kind of comes like like edges and what happened, what was going on is it was getting too thin so my left eye, I, I have it on both eyes but my left eye I went to two doctors, uh, this, and they both referred me to a specialist, uh, a cornea specialist, and I went there and he confirmed everything, what they said, and my left eye was really bad. It was to the point where he said if somebody, something was to whack my eye hard enough, my cornea would rip open, it's, um, it's too thin, and he said a lot of thing, a lot of it had to do with my, my LASIK surgery I had done like 17 years ago, but... Um, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, it is, it is what it is. So, I had to get what's called a cornea transplant. And, you know, it's kind of nerd. I just wanted to make this video to give you guys, um, I'm going to try to do some follow-ups. Um, you know, like all the checkups, the one one week checkup to, to all, you know, to however much. If I can help other people with my experience. I know a lot of experiences out there on YouTube is... From what I look, is a lot of things was good. You know, they, you know, it was good. They, they had, they healed quickly. But uh, my, my experience was a little different. So if you want to hear a, a different side of um, the cornea transplant experience, um, uh, I just, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that throughout, throughout the weeks and the months. If I could help somebody else, um, just to consider, you know, my experience of what I went through. And then maybe can cause a lower the anxiety and le a worry level. But basically, you know, I went in. I got there about 12. Uh, I guess he was backed up, and I didn't. I wasn't seen to four o'clock in the afternoon, and I left. I left there at about six o'clock. So from the time I went in, I think it was like 4:03. Um, what they do is, uh, you know, you sign all these forms, and you know, of course, you get. You get the cornea from a donor, uh, somebody who died recently, and they tested the cornea, you know, with disease, and make sure you know it's good because that's that's a danger too. Whatever um, disease or you know, if any, any kind of disease, even stuff like AIDS and um, STD or you know whatever, they can they can affect your body. Okay, so they, they test all that and it's good, and they they give it to. Uh, cornea specialist and basically that's what they do they take out they took out my my cornea and they they replaced it 
with um, with somebody else's cornea and right now there's um, it's been about five days now I go in two more days in two days ago to do my one week um, checkup and you know it's they put stitches of course to keep it in place so it heals over and they slowly but surely throughout the months they take out you know a stitch at a time or, or whatnot uh, I'll find out when I get there but again you know it's only my fifth day right now but basically you go in um, they they kind of talk you through everything um, and they, they put you under um, that was the first time I, I you know I got I went under and pretty much knocked out within seconds and then next thing I know I, I woke up and you know it was done I guess all that uh, it's in your system still yeah that anesthesia well, I don't know what they put inside you to knock you out so you gotta wait a while and your body has to um, get back to normal you have to be able to recover to get up on your own and um, uh, just monitor you before you go you know they're not gonna just let you leave and I was there for like another like 40 after the surgery maybe was done maybe another 45 minutes and you, know, you just gotta make sure you can get up um, you, you don't throw up because I guess something in there it um, causes people to um, I, I got I got dizzy and I could feel my you know um, I was getting um, woozy so they I think they gave me IV and, and within minutes within five minutes it went away and uh, I felt better so you know you just need time to um, regain all your strength and um, before they release you but you know I think the procedure takes like uh, less than an hour it depends if there's any complications or on your doctor but I, I think I personally think that something went wrong um, and they never they didn't really say anything they just said you know it's, it's good because compared to a lot of the other people I, I read I I saw on YouTube they're healing and all that it looks nothing like my eye how it looks and I'll, I'll show you how my eye looks now five days later um, it's, it's it's pretty gnarly so um I will share with you guys but basically that's that's um, I have to do a cornea transplant I just hope uh, this can help somebody um, maybe better have a better decision um, with it. Uh, it but it was to the point where my eyes was so bad my my right eye which I probably have to get a, another surgery at, um, in the future in the near future after my left eye get better but I did the transplant of my my left eye and I could see triple visions like um, e everything was blurred and distorted and I could really tell like if I was to see somebody on TV I, I would see three of them instead of you know obviously the normal one uh, you look at lights street lights when you're driving I, I haven't driven driven for such a you know months now and um, the street lights or the brake lights any kind of lights you, I could see it better it was more defined at the evening I guess because everything's darker so it stands out more but like um, like a just regular light street light I would see three of them so it would, it would make like a, a triangle um, like that and it was it was really bad and that's why I couldn't everything was just distorted and blurry and my right eye is I can see doubles so it's not that it's it's bad I, I I'm blind <laughs> legally blind so um, I'm hoping and praying that soon, sooner than, than later, you know. Um, um, oops, sorry. I'm hoping sooner than later, you know, everything will, will go back to normal and better than, uh, not, you know, not my normal, but where it's supposed to be, maybe, God willing, 2020, I'll, that'll be such a blessing. But, you know, time, time will tell. I, you know, it'll, your, your vision will slowly get better. Um, from the, the day after I went in my vision got slowly you know it's not as blurry but it's still blurry so from what I've been told it's, it's gonna get better so I just have to wait and see and um, yeah um, I'll probably give you guys an update after the first the first week checkup and just to see um, uh, the update but right now they gave me on two different eye drops supposed to be three different eye drops but he said and those three eye drops you take prior to um, you take prior to the surgery, so you kind of prep your eye. So um, and after post surgery, you still have to take those drops. But for some reason, uh, the doctor said not to take one of the 
the eye drops so I take two eye drops I'll figure out what it's called I'll tell you later um, two of them it's uh, four times a day uh, so and the other one is uh, once a day which that's one he told me not to use but yeah, yeah anyways guys um, that's my little background of what, what I'm going through and you know I hope this will help somebody else with their decision making um, love you guys uh, God be with you guys you know Love and live like uh, Yeshua Jesus and uh, anyway, just be ready for his return. Love you guys and God bless. Aloha.